today, we get specs for NVIDIA's desktop and mobile RTX 4000 GPUs, Ryzen 7000 on AM4 boards, below MSRP is here, Intel thought we wouldn't notice, and ARC GPU pricing is insane. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we have new specs for NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 4000 desktop and laptop GPUs. The story comes from resident leaker Kobite 7 Kimmy, where he claims to know the truth on power limits of NVIDIA's upcoming cards. Starting things off, he claims the 8102 GPU, which would likely make up the RTX 4090 and 4080, has a power limit of 800 watts. Now, I will say that he recently claimed that there was a GPU that could get up to 900 watts, but I'm not sure if that's a separate GPU or what. Either way, the power limits obviously aren't TDP. This is just the limit set on overclocking the GPU. The TDP itself should be a bit lower. Still, these are all a big jump on the power limit set on the 3000 cards. Moving on is the 8103, which has a 450 watt limit, with the mobile variant at 175 watts. Luckily, that makes the mobile part the same is current gen's GA103, but of course, that's to be expected in a mobile variant. I just wonder if next gen's performance difference will be much bigger between mobile and desktop. Next is the 8104 with 400 watts, while the mobile part is again 175 watts. And lastly is the 8106, which comes with a power limit of 260 watts, with the mobile variant at 140 watts. All in all, NVIDIA's next gen is definitely gearing up to be a bunch of massive power hogs. Next, I no times have been tough lately, and maybe that's got you looking for a new job or something to do on the site. Well, I've got a great offer for anyone hoping to up their skill or get into a new career, and that's none other than this video's sponsor, Skillshare, an amazing resource for entrepreneurs and freelancers to learn a new skill, like this one on logo designs, which goes through what it takes to make a great logo, sketching it out, typography, and more. With this, you could sell logo designs. They also have classes on creating your first web shop in WordPress, photography, and the list goes on. Not only that, but they're always adding new, premium classes. They never have any ads, and get this, their entire catalog is now available in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. German subtitles. The best part of all this is that the first 1,000 people who visit my link in the description will get a month of Skillshare for free. So what have you got to lose? Get started with your new skill by clicking on the link in the description below. Next up for today, AMD's Ryzen 7000 launch lineup looks to have been leaked. Plus, Ryzen 7000 or something similar could be coming to AM4 boards. The story originally comes from known leaker Graymon55, who claims in a tweet that AMD is set to release four CPUs for the Ryzen 7000 launch. The Ryzen 7950X, 7900X, 7800X, and 7600X. He then confirms that a 7700X will not be available at launch. Of course, this isn't too surprising given AMD announced similar SKUs for the Ryzen 5000 release. Really, the big news comes from this tweet by Graymon55. Here, he claims that an AMD CPU reseller says that AMD plans to have Zen 4 products that are compatible with their AM4 socket, meaning AMD could release some Ryzen 7000 CPUs that are made for AM4 boards. The reason for this is likely due to the still high prices of DDR5 memory, and AMD not expecting it to go down in time for the release. If that is the case, AMD would probably end up releasing only lower end parts for older motherboards because they don't expect pricing to be good enough for lower end SKUs. Of course, as Graymon55 mentions, it's not a guarantee. This is currently just a potential plan. Still, that could be a huge deal for current AM4 board owners. Next up, we knew it was coming, but this is even quicker than I thought. If you saw my last video, you know that crypto recently crashed, and hard, leading to lower prices in the used market as mining GPUs began flowing in. As I said then, this would likely affect new GPUs as well, along with the higher supply from GPU makers upping production. In a news story from 3dcenter.org, who's been following GPU prices from the beginning, AMD's RX 6000 GPUs are finally selling for below MSRP. In fact, the average pricing is at a whopping 92 
20% of their MSRP. Unfortunately, while Nvidia's RTX 3000 pricing did go down as well, it didn't reach the same level, so their cards sit at 102% MSRP. Still, that's only 2% above it. Overall, this is huge news. Like I said in my last video, this is exactly what happened in 2018, when Bitcoin crashed after reaching its then high of around $20,000. Both Ethereum and Bitcoin have gotten much higher than their 2018 highs, but as more miners have joined the network, the difficulty rises along with it. Now that Ethereum has seen a massive drop in value, it just isn't worth it to many miners anymore. At the end of the day, we should see prices drop even further, though how fast that happens is tough to predict. With that said, this is only based on pricing in Germany and Austria, so I'd love to hear how prices are in your region. Let me know down in the comments below. And lastly for today, we have a couple stories that show Intel has completely botched their ARC GPU launch even worse than we thought. For starters, the company just tried to quietly change the specs of their already announced GPU. In fact, Intel literally downgraded the specs of their new ARC A380. If you saw my video on the launch, you know that I went over the first custom card by Gunner. In it, I discussed the fact that their card came equipped with 15.5 gigabits per second memory, while the specs for Intel's reference card was 16 gigabits per second. You can actually see on their site at the time that Intel lists 16 gigabits per second. Well, if you go to their site now, you can see that Intel quietly changed their official specs to 15.5, meaning it looks like Intel tried to change the specs without really telling anyone. Obviously, it's not a huge change and likely wouldn't make a big difference anyway, but just the fact that this happened really shows how poor of a launch this is. To top it all off, the first custom A380 by Gunner officially went on sale at China's JD Retail Store, where it was listed for an unbelievable 3,999 yuan. That's surprising because the MSRP was supposed to be 1,030 yuan, which converts to 153 US dollars. This price converts to 595 bucks, so Intel's GPUs could be way more expensive than we thought. Now, I will say that JD has since removed the listing, but that's likely due to the fact that the A380 was supposed to launch in pre-built PCs first. Either way, this price is really concerning. It was likely just an early launch price, but that's still pretty scary. So while that does it for today, what do you think about GPU pricing finally going down? Though what about Gunner selling their GPU for absurd prices? Let me know down in the comments below. And make sure to check out Skillshare in the description below. And as always, have a great day!